So today I'm working on getting the quarter panels welded up onto the car. Um, that involves a lot of steps, including dealing with the tubs. I'm cutting a window out of the tub, which you just saw in the previous clip. So we're gonna keep rolling through and you'll see the process. I've gone ahead and just cut this edge, get a nice straight line. I cleaned up some spots on it. I sanded the inside and outside. And I also added these spots for plug welds because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a nice butt weld on the top and everything. Then the bottom edge, I'm gonna plug weld it to the flange so it's a nice crisp finish. All right, so in the last video, Trevor Myers commented asking what this is. Well, what the blue stuff down here is rather. And what it is, is it's called a die chem layout fluid. Um, I prefer it in the aerosol form. So when I have two panels that I need to weld together, what I do is I mock them up first to make sure that they fit nicely. Then you have to cut them and then, you know, butt weld them together. So what I do is I use the die chem, I spray it down on the bottom panel, layer the other panel on top, and then I'll use a scribe, scribe across that, and then I have a very clean cut line, so when I cut that line perfectly, if I can cut it perfectly, we should have a perfect match, so we have a no gap fit for welding. So that's what I use this for. It's actually used for machining as well, for if you're surfacing thing, anything or whatever, you spray it down and then you machine over top, and you can tell where cuts were made. So yeah, that's that. edges, grind this welds down, then we have ourselves a rocker that's done. I mean, look at this. That is solid. I am happy about this. That rocker kicked my butt. <laughs> that was a lot of work. It took a little longer than I anticipated, so I have not gotten to the other side yet. Um, we're gonna show some of that in the next video and roll into the backside. But first, I wanna touch a little bit on the tub. In the beginning of the video, I mentioned how I had cut a window out of the tub, so I kinda wanna explain that. So basically, inside the quarter panel here, we have the, the intake, and then we have the air, so the air can flow in. Then we have the exit for like the exhaust of the air to go back out. Um, this is for if you wanna have any like coolers for like a turbocharger, or basically any reason you would need air, extra air cooling, the air would be supplied basically for these air intakes. Now, that I cut a window in the tub because on well, not actually 996 turbos in general, like the regular OEM ones, not our special edition, they actually have a door you drop down to access the ductwork for those intakes. So similar fashion, but a little larger, we have our own now. There's a window cut, and then we'll have a piece of sheet metal that you know screws or bolts or whatever it is we do it over top of that at the end here when we're ready to actually do that. Also, it's nice too because then I actually have a window to reach through for hammer and dolly work or anything else I need to do for the finish up this panel and get it ready for paint. That's why I cut a window in the tub, and it's painful to cut something that you made painstakingly. It took me an entire day, or almost a day, to make that tub, and I cut a big window in it, so, yeah. What we did today, or in the past couple days, on this rocker was I welded the seam up here, plug welded the bottom, capped off the end, well, welded the capped off end, rather, um, installed the entire tub, and welded the tub in. This thing is super solid. And then I spent a lot of time just kind of fettling everything and hammer and dollying and sanding and hitting high spots down and everything so that this is all 
pretty much ready for the next step, which will be epoxy and then some filler work and then spray poly and then paint. So anyway, in the next video, you can look forward to me doing the other side, which will probably get more creative and shoot it differently. And then the rear end, I needed to get the actual bumper extensions installed, which I intended to do this time, but this took up all my time, which it is what it is, we're gonna done. So the uh, bumper extensions, we're gonna probably rib nut the underside of the quarter panel here and then they can bolt right up there. And then the end the bottom side of the bumper extensions because they're floppy, we have to come up with a solution to make sure they're not floppy and drive the car, which will probably be tying it into the rear diffuser, which I can't make quite yet until the engine's in the car. There are so many moving parts to this. Speaking of moving parts though, this will have wheels very soon. The wheels are actually going to be here in a couple days. Um, they are fixie wheels. I won't say which model. You guys can go ahead and guess in the comments below if you want to but they're coming up soon and then we'll be able to test fit some wheels and tires to make sure that everything is copacetic before we bring us up the paint. We don't want to paint the car then have fitment issues or whatever. Um, Tony did a lot of the math for that so if it's wrong you can blame him not me because I don't do the math here. Just this math. <laughs> I get asked a lot what we're doing for paint. Uh, short story is I'm not telling you it's going to be a surprise but it's not gonna be just one color. I'll say that, that's the plan anyway. And you guys can go ahead and guess in the comments as well, or even say what you would imagine. If you had your own Crucible Coachworks 996 slant nose, you can imagine what color you'd want on your car or what kind of paint scheme, I should say, more than color. But as of the day that we are filming this right now, we have five weeks to bring it from this to a fully painted, wet sanded and buffed monster that has new wheels and freshened up repainted brake calipers are replaced depending on what we do and uh, new rotors and this is just a lot to do in five weeks. So yeah, once well, metal work's almost done and then we'll be cruising after that and then you'll be able to see this soon in person. April 30th, again, is approaching soon, which is the PCA annual swap meet in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, where this will be debuting at. And then two weeks later, it'll also be at the Carlisle Import National Show. So if you want to see this car in the first couple weeks of its publicity, those are the two places you can see it. So that about does it for this episode. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so that about does it for this video. Make sure you guys are liking, commenting, subscribing, and trying something new. How about a wholesome one this week? And uh, yeah, make sure you check, also check out the modified Porsches page over on Facebook. Link's in the description below. And we'll catch you guys in what? On Wednesday when the next video comes out. Later.